Okay, okay guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. channel. This, this is your report to a PC attack. Someone requested for me to um, do a screen capture of the um, RT-AC3200 uh, wireless tri-band router. And inside the screen capture, I'm going to show you guys the um, user interface. As of right now, I have two AC3200s here in my possession. Reason being, I purchased one from Amazon and one from Micro Center. The one from Amazon was actually having a five year hertz band drop signal issues. So I purchased one from Microsoft to see if I was having the exact same problem. Which is right now, I am. And ever since the new firmware update, which is shown right here, uh, the last four numbers is 4129, it actually makes the five year hertz band under Smart Connect drop problem works it drops all the time now so what i'm going to do after i set this router back to default i'm going to go through a setup for you guys and then i'm going to reset it back to default again so i can ship this back out i'm going to go to my old router i'm going to set that back to default to eliminate firmware and then i'm going to reinstall it and just do the update through the router without going through the website because once again this version of the firmware right here highlight it for you guys actually make your um signal drop more often i cannot say it's a five gigahertz band because i will be kind of incorrect the five gigahertz band is dropping for you guys if you don't know how to look to see if it's dropping you can look at your wi-fi signal if you're getting if you close to your router you should be getting the perfect signal on your 2.4 and both of your five gigahertz bands if you look at your signal on whatever device you have connected to the router if your signal is dropping down a bar or dropping down and coming back up, one thing that can mean is that it's actually switching. Nine times out of ten, you should only lose about a bar. That means that it's switching over from either one of your five gigahertz bands or switching from a five to a 2.4 or 2.4 back to a five. That's what that really is kind of indicating. If range is not a factor and you're losing one bar, that only means that either you got a signal problem or you change the bands. So what I found out is that ever since this update, things have gotten a lot worse. So I'm going to reset that back to default. But this is the setup screen of the um, RT-8200. As you can see, it's lag free, PC, Xbox One, PS4 online game, etc. You just hit go. You can skip this setup, but I really wouldn't kind of recommend you guys do that. Uh, this screen is pretty much a little bit different because as of now this router is not going to be connected to my internet as of my other one is. I could run a cord to this but I'm just trying to show you guys the user interface so it's kind of going to you know it can help out but it's not what I'm trying to show in this video. Alright so the next one let's say go again. No need for the manual setting. Wow. It really wants manual, manual setting. Let's try to go through it. Okay, router name, let's just use the default admin. And for password, just to let you guys know, y'all can change the router name to whatever you like. It does not have to say admin. See, just for example, I can say um, testing. And then you can change the password, make it whatever you like it to be. It's totally up to you. You can have, let's see right here, three digit password. Or you can make it something like ASUS and then do password ASUS. See if that takes. Which you just did. Sweet. And right here it's asking you would you like to save this for the Google Chrome so every time you go in it could automatically input the information. What I found out with that is that a lot of times I don't know if it has to do with this router or AC eighty seven U or if it has something to do with Chrome. It does not manually input the information. I have to still do that. Sometimes it does it after I put in the word testing and then it will fill out the password as ASUS. Other times it just doesn't do anything. So as, just for the sake of it, I'm still going to say no. You could tell it never for the site so that this never asks you again as long as you don't reset this back to default. You know, go through that process again. But I'm going to just say never for the site. Okay. Now, right now, this is going to be set to wireless router mode for 
you know, just set up purposes. You can set up as a bridge or access access point. It's totally up to you guys, depending on you know what you're going to be using it for. All right, let's go to the next. See, this is another. This is different for me too because of it's not set up. So let's just say I'm only going to automatic. I'm not going to do a PTP PPTP VPN at all. I'm not going to set that up today. If you guys want it, just request it down below, and I'll show you guys how to do the VPN setup through ASUS. All right, let's go to the next page. Uh, let's try to skip this. Let's get this. Those last two steps you wouldn't see if you already have your internet connection connected through it. As of right now, once again, that steps are new to me also. All right, it's pretty much explaining what TriParent Router does, how it sets up, and how everything's working. So I'm going to the next. Right here, TriParent Smart Connect Security. Cool. Now, this right here, you have two options. One that says TriBand and one that says standard setup. With TriBand, what it does is your network SSID is going to be the same for your 2.4 and both your fives, including your network key. So you pick one name, one key for everything. If you want to do a standard setup, as you can see right here, you can copy the information if you want to, or you can set them up individually. You can have the same password, different passwords, network network name SSID. If you want to be a little creative like how this one did, ASUS 5G-1 and-2, you can set it up the exact same way. But you don't have to use the word ASUS or you don't have to use 5G. It's just like if you want to call this router, uh, you know, AC3200, you could put down your network SSID 3200-1, 3200-2. So you got your you know, your five year hertz extinguished so you know which one you're hopping on to. This is also good if you're actually having connection issues, which I am, and that's going to be my next video. I'm actually going to disable the TriBand Smart Connect, and I'm actually going to do a standard setup. Because I have multiple Wi-Fi devices, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name, name these uh, five year hertz bands like test number one or test number two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have my router connect to test number one, and I'm going to have it connected to 2.4, and I'm just going to call it 2.4. And then I'm going to have my other device connect to test number two, and also connect to 2.4. I'm going to make sure it doesn't connect to anything else but those two. What that lets me know is if both devices drop and go to 2.4, it lets me know I'm having problems with both my 5 gigahertz bands. Then I need to switch the test to test my 2.4. If one drop, it lets me know I'm having a problem with one. If two drops, it lets me know, you know, of course I have a problem with two. But that's going to be my next test. That's going to be for another day. But I'm thinking that the problem is coming into fact with um, Smart Connect. Smart Connect could be causing, causing a lot of my disconnects. Because if it's not, let's say if it's having a problem with selecting the proper band and it's jumping back and forth for Maybe it's conflicting. Maybe it's trying to connect me to the 5G one band twice. Or maybe it's trying to connect it, but then it's thinking I'm out of range. Who knows how they did the software? So in that case, the only way I can narrow it down is by checking each band individually. I'm going to leave two devices just on those bands. And all I got to do is just check it every hour. And now I'm going to check it in the morning to see if it drops off. So that's going to be a good test. But for the setup purposes, I'm just going to do the tri band. I'm going to do ASUS and now I'm going to do network key 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Good network key. Yeah, you know, it's ended up at zero. There you go. Let's apply this. Okay, while well, I was applying the setup, right here, as you can see, with the tri band smart connect, everything, here's your 2.4, 5 gigahertz 1, 5 gigahertz 2. All right, your WAN is nothing there because, you know, it's not connected to my internet. So, hence, this is my LAN and my MAC address here, my MAC ID. So, everything is all set up here. Let's hit next. Now, as you're going to see on the next screen, the one thing I like about the AC3200 over the AC87U. And I'll just wait for that to finish. I said we call this test and the password ASUS.
See, that's, that's what, what happens when you make it something that you don't remember. Wow, I really can't remember what I set it up as. Wow. Uh, yeah, I did. I tried testing ASUS, so save password. Go back into it. It all fills in now. Wow, it's actually starting to work, but nothing happened. Okay, guys, give me a minute. I'm going to have to redo this, so I'm going to set up this as video number one. I'm going to end it here. Sorry, guys, I did kind of forget to jot it down. Next time, I just use admin passwords a lot easier. So uh, I'm going to set this up as a two-video setup. This is video number one. Okay.